how to use crack ai image generator hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with crack ai's own image generator so we all have heard about the hype around crack 4 and how amazing it is as a tool but a lot of the capabilities of crack are not limited to only their most latest model but crack 3 is able to create images and so much more for you so if you're just looking to get started with crack and you want to explore some of its amazing features this is the perfect video now let's jump right in to get started simply head on over to grok.com once you head on over to grok.com you're going to click on sign up on the top right now once you click on sign up on the top right you're going to choose your sign up method now if you want to sign up with x apple or google you can do that or if you prefer to directly sign up with your email address you can also directly sign up by email this is just up to your personal preference on how you want to get Get started with Croc. Now I'm going to proceed with Google because I want a quick and easy sign up and I'm just going to proceed with my desired Google account over here and once I do I can move on into our dashboard on Croc. And Croc has a really simple and intuitive interface. This is your Croc interface. On your center you're going to find your prompt inbox then on the prompt inbox you will see on the bottom right you have the Croc model. Then below that you have custom instruction and enable search. Then after that on the left you have the ability to attach any file. This could be a file, context, sketch, Google Drive files, connecting your OneDrive, or any recent files. Grok also has a deep search and a deeper search model. This is for more reasoning and extended search. And then it even has a think model. The think model is something that is going to take more time in thinking. And this is for more logical questions and logic based reasoning. But we're going to be focusing on images. So to get started, you can go on ahead and click on create image. Once you do that, you're just going to have draw and then you can proceed with the rest of your prompt. So let's say I want to draw Isaac Newton with an apple falling from his hand or Isaac Newton with an apple falling on his head. And then after that, I'm just going to proceed with my prompt. And right now it is going to create two variations of the image. So this is completely for free. You don't need to have a premium subscription of Grok to be able to use this model. And you guys can see these are the two images it has created. Now, whenever you create an image on Grok, you have the ability to simply select that image and then click on download image on the top right. Now below that, you have the ability to change the style as well as the background and the subject. So let's say I like this image over here but I want the background to be outdoor. So I can click on background over here and within the background, I can describe my edit. Now, all of the pre-made edits are, I think I'm gonna go with tropical paradise. So once I select that, it's automatically going to take this particular image and use my new prompt or use my new guidance or edit guidance and edit the image accordingly. You can see on your top right, you even have the ability to regenerate your images, download them as well as alter them. So if I like this, I can click on compare and see what the original image was by holding down this icon. You do have to do a long press. And then if I move my long press, this is going to change and then go ahead and it's going to go ahead and show me the edited version. Now I can choose multiple different styles that it's suggesting. This is just one way to create images using Grok. Now if I attach a file, so I'm going to click on upload file over here and I'm actually going to upload a simple file and a simple image. So let's say I want to use this image over here. Now I want to draw this woman holding a lipstick. And now this is going to take a look at my attachment and it's going to create an image based upon the prompt as well as the prompt image that I've provided. So this was my original image that I provided. And this is just a woman holding a makeup palette. And then I asked it to draw this woman holding a lipstick. So in the first image recreation, it was not able to successfully convert it into a lipstick. But in the second version, it did. But the fingers on this are not properly aligned. So I would have to make further alterations. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and make something more creative. So if I want to just build some general edits in my images, let's say I have to change maybe the lipstick color. So I'm going to upload this image over here. And I really like the image. But the the lipstick color is a bit too dark. You guys can see I have three basic styles. So I have subject editing, I have background editing and creative. Within the subject, let's say that I want to maybe add a stylish hat or a golden glow. In the background, I want it to be a cosmic void. And once I do that, it's going to edit the image accordingly. So I'm just going to wait for these edits to take place. 
so that I can see any further edits that are necessary for my particular image. And this is really helpful because it truly provides you a fully customized space and a fully customized way to create your images. Now you guys can see my image is currently being, you know, created and th these are the two alterations it has created. Now if I go with my particular starting image, let's say I want to change the woman's lipstick to a nude pink let's say i want to go with that and now i'm going to take a look at the changes that it's going to make and whether or not it is able to accurately identify the lips and then change the color of the lipstick rather than changing the color of the makeup object that the woman is holding so you can make several different types of edits alongside many other features on grok and we're just going to wait it usually is pretty yeah so you guys can see it has created two really beautiful alterations actually so this was my original image and these are the two alterations it has created the nude pink on this is really nice and this one is again really nice as well this one looks a bit more retouched and this one looks like a really raw image so this is truly an amazing tool when it comes to these types of editings and these tiny edits that you might want to do it makes it really quick and easy as well now let's say i want to add add gold earrings so i can click on add gold earrings and it's going to reread the attachment and then alter the attachment accordingly so instead of the studs that the model is wearing i want her to be wearing gold earrings and you guys can see now it has altered the earrings to these two earrings and you guys can see these are really nice and this is actually a really nice altered image that now i can use for my product or whatever i might be requiring my images for now moving forward let's create some new images using grok now grok not only offers you image creation but you can even view the latest news like so and it's going to give you all the latest news like so now within grok you also have the ability to go with personas so you have a therapist persona grok doc homework helper loyal friend unhinged comedian and companion so you have multiple different personas that you can use if you're just looking to spend some time and you know chat with the ai bot now I want to go on ahead and proceed with creating an image and I want it to be super unique. So uh, draw a hyper realistic woman with emerald with wearing a a luxe emerald dress standing on a rooftop with city lights in the background with city lights in the background. So right now I have provided a prompt and this time I am focusing more so on hyper realism. And let's take a look at the type of images that Grok can create. So you guys can see it has followed my instructions to the T. The woman is standing on a rooftop and there are city lights behind her. This is a really nice image that I was able to create. Both of them are pretty nice and I can add glowing necklaces, oil painting, cosmic nebula, and more edits accordingly. Now you might wonder, hey, all of these amazing features on Grok must be pretty expensive. Well, they're actually not expensive at all. Grok is an AI tool that is really impressive when it comes to pricing because their prices are pretty competitive. And even the free version of Grok is pretty amazing. So if you want to use Super Grok, then you can get started for only $30 a month where you have increased access to Grok 4 as well as access to Grok 3. You have context memory with over 128,000 tokens. You have voice with vision and everything in the basic. You also have Grok Heavy, which allows you to have exclusive previews of Grok 4 Heavy, extended access to Grok 4, and early access to new features. But even in the free version, you have unlimited context memory Memory, as well as the Aurora image model projects and tasks that you can organize within Grok. So you no longer have to use a separate tool for organizing all of AI conversations and AI data. Instead, Grok is able to do that all for you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with image creation on Grok. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.